are not going to a party thrown by a year 12 boy. Well, it's not fair everyone else is. Oh, including his parents. Yes. Uh-huh. Go on. <laughs> yeah, well, I told him I'm an old detective wasn't worse than money. What is it? Why? What you found? We do. We couldn't open it. Well, I'm off. Let me go. Yeah. No, don't worry about that. Read them and weep. Now, no loud music, no kitchen experiments, and don't wind up the relief care worker, please. As if we would do something like that. <laughs> Caribbean queen. Now we share the same dream. It actually smells really bad. Hey, anyone come to see me off? They're busy. And I'm not talking to you anyway, because you're going away for two weeks. Hey, but I'm here to help you. Yeah, but Mike's better than you are, it. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, Rick's dentist appointment. I it's know. It's in the book. I know. And the bins, they go out on a Thursday, third... I know. And don't forget to talk to Electra. Talk to me about what? It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it later. Don't worry, yeah? Hey, go. You'll miss your flight otherwise. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going on holiday. I do not come. Mm, talk to me about what? Talk to me about what? Oh. Gina, talk to me about what? It must be got more like a dead pet. I know, maybe love letters. Come on, Johnny. When are you going to talk to me? When I'm hung this lot out. You going to help? Johnny, try harder. Just open it. There you go. What's in this thing anyway? What now? Oh. Renee, I could have blown myself up. I didn't know. God, that's what you're doing. What are you doing? Oh. I'm only looking. I've never seen one before. Put it back. Get me. It's from World War One. The word grenade comes from the French word for pomegranate, because that's what the first ones look like. What does this bit do? Hey, what are you doing? What have you just done? are not toys. And if you younger ones thought they were, then you older ones should have had the sense to tell them otherwise. Don't have a go at us just because they're brain dead. How was Gina? Concussed. She was blown off her feet and hit her head. Oh, she got off lightly then, didn't she? It's a miracle nobody died. I mean, fancy letting your kids play with grenades. They weren't playing. Yes, they were. That crater over there and your colleague off to hospital proves it. But she's... Ready, sir. Right, you lot, move back. Let's go. He thought that you were a cowboy. So? You! Keep a tighter rein on this lot. They're obviously trouble. Yes, we are. I am in so much trouble. Well, you didn't know what was in the box. And if it's only concussion, she'll be fine in a few days. Why don't we tell the relief care worker that Gina said we can go to the party? Well, I don't really want to now that she's in hospital. Yeah, but that's why we should go. We need something to cheer us up, right? Okay. <laughs> Will you play spies with me? Not now, Harry. It's 14 minutes to lunchtime. Are you making it? I'll see what's happened to the relief care worker. What are you doing? Looking for Mike's password, I can't get into his computer. You should be trying, it's private, not when it concerns me. Gina was supposed to tell me something and I have to know. Well, why don't you just wait until the relief care worker gets here and ask her? Oh, yes! 
Bad news always goes down better for someone who doesn't know you. Loving your positive thinking. You don't even know it's going to be bad. It usually is. If you always believe that things are going to be bad, you start to predict your own future. <gasps> Did you get that from a Christmas cracker? I don't believe in negative thinking. It only brings you down. Fine. Might not be bad news. Got it. Who are you calling? The council. I need to find out what happened to the relief care worker and book another one. Why do we need a relief care worker when we've got you? <laughs> I'm only 15. I'm not looking after you lot. <laughs> oh, but you don't have to look after us. Just pretend you're the relief care worker and send the real one away. Are you being serious? You want to play home alone? It's better than a stranger here ordering us about. I mean, you could really do this. That army guy thought that you were staff. <laughs> you don't want to last two minutes looking after yourselves. You've never had to cook or clean. And you're an expert, are you? I could write a book on it. Mm, why is that? It doesn't matter. I'm not playing relief care worker and it never work anyway. I thought that you missed positivity. Well, it's not just down to you. We should at least ask the others. <sighs> How long for? Until Gina gets back. That could be days. Oh, for once in a lifetime chance at freedom. Oh, yeah, that means no cool. curfew for the party. Still up for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no rules! Great! Come in, huh? I'm in. There's supposed to be an adult in charge. I'm ringing with Mike. Wait, wait! Electron, leave him alone! Do you want him to ruin it for all of us? <laughs> back off! <laughs> it's over. I never had you down for quitter! I'm the relief care worker for Michael Mulligan. Milligan. You are? Faith Davis. Lydia Dillon. You'll call me Mrs. Dillon. What on earth is going on? House. No TV for all of you for three days. Let's fall. Get off the furniture. No sweets for a week. Oh! What's going on? Nothing, just chilling. Drop the attitude. And take that blue out of your hair or you'll go hungry today. I will not tolerate bad behaviour. Good thing you won't be here to witness any then. What do you mean? I'm the relief care worker. You've been double booked. You don't look old enough. <laughs> yes, I, I get that a lot. Now, are you going to stand there and discuss my youthful appearance or let me do my job? I'll show you out. Yeah, but getting rid of her. Well, it was that or locker in a cellar. <laughs> what a way. I told you you could do it. No, go and ask Tanner what to do. Yes, yes, yes. It's four minutes past lunchtime. Who's going to make it? No, we can do what we want. We don't have to Lily, you've got to come over. Home alone? No way. What happened? It's complicated. I'll explain when you get here. And tell your dad you're going to be staying here for a few days. Oh, I love that. Him and Sinead can start discussing baby names and start buying equipment. Oh, and bring your party here. We're going dancing. Already on it. Come on, let's dye our hair. I'll buy some stuff on the way over. Brilliant. I'll see you when you get here. We're going to be dyeing our hair for tonight. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Too young to party, we are 12 boys. Ooh, who made you the new Gina? <laughs> so where did you find us? You don't eat here unless it's a party. Feels like a party. More like a picnic. Picnics are outside. Oi, I was listening to that. It's dangerous to me, is it? What's that mean? So, oh, is it? Sure, I'm dying. 
What? I'm last on the heaven list Cause I couldn't give a rock for Angelica's Better the music that's manufactured for bonus Hey, get, get me out man Hey, come here you Go away, I'm busy So am I What's Mike's password? It used to be Tracy Tracy Nope, doesn't work. Can you think of any... What are you doing? Ring a mic? No, you're not. I have to tell him that nothing's happening when it should or how it should. Mm, tough. Um, um, what colour is it? Is, uh, I think it's brown. Brown, Carmen's already brown. Oh, I've always <laughs> wanted to handle my hair. Yeah, me too. How do you do it? Uh, Says you mix it up, slap it on, wash it off, and party! <laughs> ah, in your face, Gina! <laughs> so, so, what colour does it actually like dye uh, your okay. hair? Is that you, Harry? Where were you going? Out for a run. Do you want to come? Will you tell me to stop by us afterwards? Harry, you know she lives too far away now. How much water am I supposed to be? Not that much. Comment! <laughs> Oh, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> that stinks. You're not going to eat that, are you? No, it's for dying here. Head on, let's have a go. No. Go She looks like shop. Your lunch stuff. No, isn't it good? There's no one to make us. No, look, there's still lunch. Tea. Come here, boy, and hang it with you. Uh, right then, you stay at the door. Come on. Yeah. I bet I can get mine in plastic. Huh? We play Spies with Harry. We were playing something else. Okay, no worries. You look a bit rough. So do you. Are you okay? Um, I guess I do feel a bit sick. What have you been eating? Well, no wonder you feel poorly. These are rammed with sugar. Well, they tasted all right. I bet they did. But you had masses of other biscuits at lunch as well. You sent your sugar levels out of whack. Pale. A bit sweaty. Feeling sick. I hope you haven't given yourself anti-hypoglycemia. What's that? OK. So the brain needs glucose, which is a type of sugar, to make it work. Hypoglycemia is where there isn't enough. That can put you in a coma. But anti-hypoglycemia... Look, you don't even want to go there. You don't need to work that sugar out of your system. Fast. But how? Exercise is probably the best way. Harry, do you want to be a spy and chase the double agents? Yeah. Right, quick. We need to go... Why? So... Spies? We haven't got anti-hypo anything. We've been conned. Gus? Gus? Will you help me plan the cleaning motor? Can't plan anything, it's too much noise. Frank and Rick are driving Gus mad with the music. Oh, shut up, I can't concentrate. What are you trying to do anyway? Oh, log on. I've tried everything I can think of. It'll be written down somewhere. The relief care worker would have needed it. I mean, knowing Mike. 
It'd probably be filed under P for password. Don't be so ridiculous. Oh. Caribbean, of course. Yes. But I said thank you or anything. <laughs> That'd be really cool, actually. Exactly. So just... Oh, hi, Jodie. You can do it just like that? Yeah, why shouldn't we? Because henna stains really badly. My mum used it once. Had to chuck out all her clothes afterwards. OK, quick. <clears throat> quick, hurry up! Hurry up! They're coming out. Winding it up. Why can't you just leave me alone? Where is the fun in that? <laughs> Close to clear. Come on. Why do you want to slay Faith? She's nice. Because she tricked us. And she nipped our chocolate biscuits. Exactly. Where's it gone? Well, we did leave it in the bath, didn't we? Yeah, and we left Jodie in there too. Gus, please calm down, alright? I'll go for it. Right! Come here! You're paying for that, you want me new speakers? No, I don't. Oh, Whoa, pack it in! What have you done with it? I didn't touch it, did I, Tyler? No. Where is our henna, Harry? I don't no. care! You call my parents dinosaurs, what are you doing? Come here! I should be apologising, you should be the one apologising. After everything he said... Who? Mike, I'm not giving up on your Milligan. Except he has. A social worker is coming to see me about my future beyond Elmtree House, so he's chucking me out. You don't know that. Oh, I know when I'm not wanted. I am gone. Hey! Running away is not the answer. Electra! Me! Electra! Me! Ah! Just found your hand. Get out of my way, freak! What happened? Why don't you ask them? Did you booby trap my room? No, we were just playing spies like you told us to. Get off me! I need no, this is all your fault. Get out of my room! You, Electra, you can't go. Watch me. This whole thing was your idea. You can't suddenly decide that you're off and leave me to pick up the pieces. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to put a positive spin on it. Why is that this hammer anyway? It's not just about me. What about the others? I don't care. You don't have anywhere to go. I'll find somewhere. Electra, move. What if you don't? We will have it if you get picked up by the police. Electra, wait.
Who's got a grenade? Easy. Easy, Gus. No joking! There's too much noise! Nothing makes sense! I want it to stop! It stopped? No, it hasn't! All right, all right. Hang on. Frank, turn that music off now! See? Everything's gonna be all right. No, it's not all right! It's all wrong! Everything's wrong without Mike and Gina! Everyone's shouting and fighting! Gus, it's all right. We've stopped now. Stop talking! Gus? Go away! I know it's been a bit crazy today, but we'll sort it. Why don't you just give me that? Why hasn't it gone off? It must be a dud. I'll go and see. Don't be stupid. Um, maybe Gus should go see, since it's his stupid grenade. You could have killed us all. I leave him alone. Can't you see he's at it? What if he needs a doctor? No, let's just wait and see. Him. Hello, people. Unexploded grenade in the cellar. You might want to deal with that first. Johnny, be careful. Have a rip. Can you see it? Hold on. What's it look like? A grenade that might explode any minute. Grab the anvil and close the door. Carefully. So what do we do now? Uh, hi. What are you still doing in here? Please don't tell me those kids are in there. My boss took them to the park to get them out of the way. I was just waiting to let you in. Right, you out here now. What's happening? Shut up. Right, where is it? It's in the cellar. No, you just tell me. You're not going back in there. It's the door directly opposite the front door. Did you get that? Yeah. Yes, sir. What are they doing? I thought you were just going to come and take it away like you did this morning. The pins were in those grenades. I took a chance as the place was crawling with kids. Now, the pin's been pulled on this one, so I can't risk that. We have to deal with it right here. You're blowing it up? In the house? No. I'm going to take it to a movie and then buy it dinner. Yeah, we're going to blow it up. What did you expect, eh? Look, the lads are going to pack it all with sandbags, all right? There won't be too much damage. You stay here. Right, you stand well back over there. Is that it? Well, no one got hurt. It's as good as it gets. And uh, don't make me come back again, yeah? All right, boys, let's pick it up. I'm gonna go check on Gus. I uh, don't really feel like going to a party now. Yeah, me neither. Sorry, Carl. Mm. Girls not in? Yeah, sounds better, doesn't it? What are you doing? I'm just texting the news because I had it better I don't really think your music's for bonus. I 
Why do you like it so much? Mum and Dad liked it. Oh, cheers for the new speakers. We're having a proper supper to keep Gus calm. You come in? Yep, I'll be one sec. What are you doing? Nothing that's anything to do with you. Well, let's have a look. Nope. Move. Okay. Just see how he's on. Well, you couldn't see in the mirror because I watched his hair over the bar. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> My evening shoes. What Gina makes? Grind your bits on top. Just how you like it. To faith, you look good today. To faith. So, what happens next? Faith books co-worker. Well, we've just got everything sorted. It'd be a shame to give it up now. Look, we'll do it properly this time. Yeah, with no fighting, no loud noise or mess. No anarchy. What's that? Everyone out for themselves. Someone has to be in charge. Well, we've got someone in charge. Who? <laughs> no, no way. You're already doing it. Yeah, well, maybe it's someone else's turn. But you're the best. Hands up, everybody who wants it. Speech time! Speech, 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 Thank you. And some plain pyjamas. Dressing gown. And something to read. Thank you.